Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video where we installed the rack for the door that's gonna slide. Today we are going to get supplies and at least start on building that door. We're kind of late in the day so I probably won't finish it, but I'm hoping to make some progress. And if you haven't seen Katie's blog, be sure to check that out because there's a picture of what the final product will look like on the blog. I'll put that in the description below. We are on our way to Home Depot to pick up the wood and probably a few tools to get this job done. I'm gonna show you the drawing that Josh made with um, some of the measurements for the door and then I'll explain it a little bit. Like my blog, if you go see it, um, this is kind of like the door that's on there. It's kind of a chevron pattern, which is really in right now and I hope it stays in for a while, but um, I really like this. So there's gonna be looks like sorry trying to get it to where you can see it so there's like four um, beams oh, across that's way too bright. yeah holy cow and then the chevron pattern going up these are all boards and then one long board in the middle in the same pattern on the other side and across is 57 inches wide and it's seven feet high we got all the wood we need to make the door. This has like grooves in it, so it'll have some sort of a pattern to it. And then I got these clamp kits where you just put some black pipe in there to make the clamp. And this guy is cutting them to the size I need. So, wow, that was quick. He literally just started. That's awesome. All right guys, well, we had to run a few more errands after Home Depot, and as you can tell, it is dark outside. So I'm just gonna give you an overview of what we bought, and then Tuesday, we will actually get to building this thing. So basically, I'm gonna build the outside frame, the two side pieces that go all the way up the door out of these two by sixes, and then the top part and the bottom part of the door are gonna be two by fours. And then there's gonna be a two by six right up the middle. And these uh, wainscoting boards are gonna be at the diagonals all the way up in between the panels. So it should look pretty cool. I'm going to uh, day do through the center of these two by sixes so that the pieces all fit together really nicely. And then I'm gonna plane down each board so they're nice and smooth before I sand them and it'll turn out great. I also bought these pipe clamps, which I don't know that you can see, but uh, those will help me keep it all together during the glue up. And yeah, so super excited. And I will make a whole video on how I make this door. It'll probably be multiple parts because I won't get it done all in one day, but it'll be exciting and fun. And really, if you have the tools, it's not too expensive, but buying a planer and clamps and all that stuff gets pricey. So. Definitely something you could do yourself, but you do need some tools for it. So we are gonna end this video right here. Be sure to check back on Tuesday night or Wednesday morning for a video on the first part of the door, putting together, building, whatever, and that will be ready for you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. I know things have been slowing down. We've just been super busy with other things other than the house. So hopefully we'll get it picked back up shortly and get more videos coming your way. So give this video a big like, and if it helped you out at all, be sure to share it on Facebook or wherever, tell someone about it, and we would love that. So thanks guys, see you later.